Sri Lanka has been experiencing a debilitating drought for the past few months. Initially predicted to last till October with no rain for the near future, the drought has exacted a toll on existing stocks of water that has directly impacted livelihoods and food security. However, in a welcome development yesterday, rainfall was experienced in several areas of the country, including the Colombo, Gaul, Mathura and Hambantura districts. The Ampara area received the highest rainfall of 40.6 mm in the last 24 hours. However, extreme weather conditions which affected Anuradhapura, Polonarua, Ambilipitiya and Batiklo continue to remain unchanged. The highest temperature of 37.4 degrees Celsius was reported from the Polonarua and Trincomalee areas. With the prevailing dry weather, the water levels in reservoirs in many districts have dropped while several water resources have reportedly dried up as well. With the lowering of the water levels in several massive reservoirs, old ruins which were submerged in those reservoirs have resurfaced. As such, a bridge that was used to travel to the Palugola village and several other ruins are now visible. The old Anuradhapura Trinkamali road which was submerged in water is also currently visible owing to the drying up of the Mihintale Kandara lake. However, the Nika Lake in the Hikurakgoda area in the Polonaro district has completely dried up. As a result, villages of the area have also encountered a drinking water crisis. Prevailing drought conditions continue to affect many areas in the country, disrupting the livelihoods of many individuals. The Nanadola waterfall in the Hambantara district, meanwhile, has reportedly dried up, which has caused a drinking water shortage in the Varapitiya, Kirama and Valasamola areas. The Alutwava Lake in the Ambilipiti area is gradually drying up at present due to the intense dry weather conditions, leaving both villages and animals severely affected. The dry conditions have also led to the lack of food and water provided to the cattle in the Dambulla and Galavela areas, severely affecting animals. Concurrently, cinnamon plantations in the Galahitia area are currently at risk of being completely destroyed. Farmers in the Nochegama areas lament that 200 to 300 acres of paddy fields which are cultivated with rainwater are now destroyed. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Agriculture stated that cumulatively, a total of 58,766 acres of cultivated lands have been destroyed as a result of the prevailing drought. 58,389 acres of paddy cultivated lands and 377 acres of other cultivations have been destroyed. Speaking at a press briefing today, the Ministry of Agriculture, Mahinda Amaravira, confirmed that compensation can only be paid for six types of crops damaged by drought, namely paddy, corn, chili, potato, onion and soybean. Niyege nisa visal pramanya ka ape kumburu vinasvelati be na vagema levelu palaturu the kurundu me sieluma boga valata meka balapayama kathi velati na vitra ne me pol valata me balapayama dino samahar pradesh vala pol gas pawa merna tatte te kathi velati. Ne me aurdu ganana aagat paasse tamai me man tatte a kathi velati ne de akkar hat maidan hat da aagar vedi dhanta mat vinasvelati na ta gudak kadiye samikshane avasaane me na kote. Abey unat ape goi jana ta aagi anit pradesh vala nishpaadne ihela matte magati na. Apit haani ke vanna pulva menne boga varga hayak menu. Vi badeiringu miris arthapal bilun soya bunch. मेवर तो मैं आप इटे वंदिया के वाने पुलवां का मती है ना इटे परिबाहरी ने हम उदावक आधारिया गाने पुलवां तेनात्ती बनो तभी ये इटा लबादी उत्तीर्ण मते ममे इन्ना